Oh man, my phone made some noise here. I'm super excited, guys, and um, I'm coming live from Panama. This video has two parts of uh, the video. Number one is you can see the title of the video: How I Manage to Talk to Girls Anywhere in the World, Anytime, Anyhow. So I want to explain today. I've been seeing these questions all the time. Like, hey, Marwa, do you take that girl to your house? What happened to that girl you met? What happened to this? Until I'm always like, which girl are you talking about, you know? I have to be clear with this video. I'm not a womanizer. I'm just a young guy who does not have a girlfriend, does not have a wife, does not have a kid. And I'm at that stage of my life where I feel I need to get those things I just mentioned but step by step. So yeah, I'm in the field, I'm in the field and there are thousands and millions of beautiful girls to choose from. Uh, my job is to make the right decision by making the right moves at the right time. So man, first, if you're new to this YouTube channel, my name is Mara, welcome to my YouTube channel. Actually, it's not my YouTube channel, welcome to our YouTube channel. And look how today I'm coming, man, you see this side? <laughs> Oh man, yeah, my earphones, not earphones. Uh, I mean, I'm so I'm just happy. Yo. I'm just happy. Sometimes when you're so happy, even you get confused. And actually, it has been long since we did uh, a live stream. So guys, man, remember to smash that like button, man. Kindly smash that like button. Smash it for no reason, man. You know, just smash it for the positive vibe. You know, for the good. You know, the good energy you're trying to pull around you, you know. Life is about energies, you know. If you don't believe in energies, me, I do believe. And I believe that's why um, I have done, I've been able to accomplish this type of life I live, man, you know. But above all is God, man. I strongly believe in God. I believe God has a plan for everybody. But uh, God wants those guys who, like, you know, push themselves. So let's go directly because I really like when it's the first 10 minutes, I already done the topics of the video. Then from there, I did your comments. Then I answer your questions because today we shall be talking about how I am able to talk to any girl anywhere in the world, anytime. And um, number two is we're going to be talking about Panama, where I am right now, Panama travel guide. So I'll be giving you tips here and there what to do when coming to Panama. Now I've been spending here three weeks. I think this coming week is my last week in Panama before I go to another country. And I'm so excited because also we're going to 100,000 subscribers, maybe maybe in two, three days, you know, before, end, before next Saturday, we shall be at 100,000 subscribers. I'm excited, man. I'm so excited. You got laid last night. Oh, come on. No, man. So, you know, sometimes I really see a lot of people ask me, Marwa, 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 Marwa. I mean, if I open my Instagram, you can all, you'll be surprised. And uh, just by saying that, please remember to go to my Instagram. My name is Ayamaro, the same username as this. And go follow me. There we have like 92,000 followers. Just be showing me some love right there. But today, Let's go direct to the topic. How do I manage to talk to girls anywhere in the world? So one thing, let me first tell you who, like, let me just tell you this background information before we answer that question. So right now I've been traveling, I started traveling uh, 2018, March, March 2018, till now, nonstop, you know? Nonstop is every day, every day, have you met any YouTuber in Panama? Not yet, Lorena, not yet. So let me explain this. So I've been traveling from March 2018, and uh, we are in July 2019, nonstop, you know, continent. I, 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 I've been to Africa, Europe, just a, a few me, a few, a few hours in Europe, but Europe, South America, Central America, North America you know, only five continents. And something I should tell you is you have bad connection. Oh man, yeah, I think maybe, okay, okay. Let me move my, my juice and stuff. Let me move them. Maybe you're right, I have bad connection because I'm far, far away from, from the internet, the internet box, you know? 
So sorry, let me fix this, guys. Somebody is saying I have bad internet. Uh, okay, I'm fixing this, man. Sorry, sorry, you know. I'm just a normal guy, you know. Oh, I have my shirt today. I have my new shirt. Yeah. For those guys who follow me on Instagram, actually, I told you to read my shirt on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, you know, also, I'm not running away from the lights. Let me see. I think this way will be okay. I think now the internet is good right there, right? I'm trying to go close to the router. It's this side. Okay, so let's go. Anywhere I go, I always, I always meet new people. I always talk to beautiful girls. And these are my tricks. My tricks are pretty simple. Number one, not clear. I don't know what you mean by not clear, Arjun. Ronji. Can anybody hear me? Yeah, let me just. Maro, you will need some lighting in the room. Looks choppy. Yeah, man. The lights are right there. They are very far. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I should change the position. I don't know. Yeah, I think right there. Okay, let's not waste time. Let's just let's just try this. Okay, turn on the lights. Yeah, the lights are on. Look, the lights are on, man. Look, those are the lights right there. There's one and there's the other one right there. Those are the lights. And you know, man, as a traveler, sometimes you don't dictate the environment you are. Because today you're in a very nice lighting room. The next day, man, you know. So let me explain. Let me explain this because the first 10 minutes of the video, they are really, really important. So number one is I never take things too serious. I never take things too serious. And I never, I never force things, you know. Most of the time, I'm that guy who tries to win. And even if I lose, I don't feel the loss. You know what that means? It means even if I'm rejected, I don't care about it. I don't feel bad. I don't feel sad, you know? So all I do is I try as many as possible. So all I do is I increase my sample space. It's called sample space. Sample space is the number of tries or number of uh, spacemen, you know, in quotes, that you have if you guys do physics or those type of mathematics. So, or uh, the number of figures. So. Let's say you try finding, getting WhatsApp numbers in a day, uh, five numbers in a day, okay? Five numbers in a day. So five numbers in a day, in maybe a week, you'll be having 35 numbers out of 35. You'll meet at least five people or five beautiful girls who wanna talk to you. And that is all it goes. So it's about me trying many, and as I try many, I don't, I, I don't, I don't kill myself. Like, oh, you know, what if she rejects me? What if she does this? What if she? I go there open mind. I go there open mind, and and one thing I should tell you is, most of the time I win. Actually, out of ten, I, eight out of ten, I always win. Yeah, why do I win? I always go there with a smile. I always smile. I always make a girl laugh. I always, you know, it's actually, it's about your vibe. And uh, most of the time when you talk to a girl, she should feel you are an asset, you know? Don't be that guy who is always like making the girl so happy. You're making a fool of yourself to make the girl feel so happy. No, if you want to make a girl happy, make her happy. But in some, you know, don't be that guy who laughs, laughs. And, oh, that was really fun, even if, a girl made just a, a small joke. You just want to impress her and you're laughing and you're laughing and you're laughing. So you don't need that. You just need to be real to yourself. And most of the time, you have to be direct to the point. You have to be direct to the point. Tell the girl what you want. Tell, tell her what you don't like. You know, sometimes other girls like, like men who are principled, men who can stand by what they mean. If you say, I don't like girls who smoke, then you say, I don't like girls who smoke. So even if this girl smokes, she could be smoking far away, but when she's close to you, she can't smoke. But don't be that guy who is, I don't smoke, I don't like people who smoke, but because she's this girl, she can smoke around me. So you lowering your standards. So at some point you have to have your, yeah. I'm not talking about American women. I know American women, they are really, really different. And actually it's crazy even dating an American woman. Even I don't know why you should date an American girl. Just come to Latin America, man. I love Latin America much. And soon I'll be going to Asia. Maybe I'll be telling you what, what will be there. 
So the fact is, you have to be very natural. Be, be, be calm. Don't feel anxiety, you know, like, oh, she's so hot. And another thing I do is I always talk to the most beautiful girls. When you talk to the beautiful girls, one thing you should know is not very many people talk to those beautiful girls. Many guys only see those beautiful girls and they comment like, wow, that girl is hot. Did you see her? That's all guys do. They can't approach her. They can't tell her, hey, I think I like you. I think you look beautiful. I think your hair looks nice. Oh, I like your dress. You know, easy to talk to women outside the United States and United States, that's why they are just disrespectful. And you know, nowadays there are a lot of agendas out there. These agendas are just to break families, to break relationship, to break the man, you know. The, you know, it's, it's a man and female, but now they are breaking the man thing. And a lot of, you know, feminism, people are like, oh, you know, and for me, I think there is an agenda out there to reduce the population of the world. And the only way to reduce the population of the world is to disorient the family, to, to smash the family, you know, to destroy family, you know, the structure of, of a, a husband, wife, and children, you know, they are trying any, any form that can smash it. Either it's a movement like feminism or Me Too movement, you know, all those type of uh, crazy, crazy. Actually, for me, when I get a girl who is in those movements, I don't date them. I say bye and I keep moving. Yeah. Mara is the African Casanova. I don't know what that means, but I think uh, I, I know Casanova is a musician, something like that. Okay, so that's, let's smash that like button, man. I can't have 71 people watching and only 17 people have liked the video so far, man. It's a shame if you're watching me and you can't like the video, you can't donate, you can't share. It's a shame, man. It's a shame. So let me keep explaining before we go to Panama, okay? So when you are, a, when you, let's say, for example, I'm in Panama, I'm so new here, I don't know anybody. Number one, what I do is I use Tinder. You know, sometimes people laugh and say, oh, why are you using Tinder? Hey, oh, you're a jack or, hey. Let me tell you, man. Nowadays, many people prefer talking to you by phone than real time. You know, if you meet a girl, like you, you walk to a girl and say hello, many girls will prefer not to talk to you, but they will prefer talking to you by cell phones. So now it's everybody is everybody. Greetings from Panama. Oh, man, you're in Panama? We could meet. So, you know, nowadays the problem is many, many, many of people around us, we prefer, even if somebody is close to me right here, I prefer not to talk to him, but I prefer to write him a message and say, hey, do you see the girl walking in front of us? And the guy or the girl is right next to me here or the person is next to me here. So nowadays people are using technology, people are using phones and dating is stunning from real life to cell phone, you know, to, you know, the internet stuff. So you must be there, you must be there. If that's where people are going, you must be there because if you don't, you'll be left behind, you know? Oh, let me have my water, man, let me have my water. Oh, sorry, sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah. So I always use Tinder. I know some of you guys don't even know what Tinder is because maybe you're in the States, you've never used Tinder. Tinder is this app. You can see right there, even I have a message waiting for me. So all you do, you click Tinder, and boom, too many girls show up. And all you have to do is just, you know, like there, sometimes you can read the bio. She's 23 miles away, so she's far, far away from where I am. But you can always like, keep liking. And another thing about this application is, actually I'm not paid to talk about this application, but because this application is about, um, it's about dating, so I, I always show you guys, okay? So, okay, so look, so all you do is just like, just like, don't care who you are liking, just keep liking, okay? Keep liking, liking, liking. I know you guys wanna see the faces, but uh, this is just a sample video. So maybe one day I'll do Tinder in Panama. Keep liking, keep liking, just keep liking, okay? And sometimes you can pay extra money for you to get unlimited likes. So you can like the whole, whole time. So let's say I'm so new in Panama or I'm so new in a country. I don't even know where to start from. Number one thing I do is I go on this application called Tinder. 
So my apps, my, my likes are over. So you see, they are over. But if you, if, you, if you pay, you can get unlimited likes. It means you can have maybe a thousand likes. But apart from that, hey, this guy called James Peter, he always, uh, you always bash me on my video, man. Even I was thinking to block you. So it's good, like I have seen your comment and uh, I have to tell you, man, just be respectful in what I do. Even if you're a critic, don't be like in a negative way. You always like bashing me and stuff. I'll block you, man. I, we have, the channel is close to 100,000 subscribers, but if there are like five people who bother me, they hit me hard, I don't need you, man, you know? Yeah, so I respect you following me in the first place, but at least support me, man. Don't, don't, don't come to, to cut my legs, you know? That is James Peter. I always see your comments and I'm like, I'll block this guy. But now that I've seen you here, uh, I have to explain that, okay? So yeah, most comments are very mean, super mean, super mean. You, you can't take criticism. I can't take criticism, but mean comments, I don't need that, man, you know? I don't need that, I don't need that. If, if there's nothing else you can, you can do in this YouTube channel, man, I'd rather block you, you know? I'm so honest to you. I've struggled, man. I pulled this channel from zero, zero subscribers. I've seen a lot of racism comments. I've, you know, man, I've, I've been beaten up filming videos. Sometimes I'm alone traveling in a bus, sleeping. Man, you don't, you don't understand the struggle, man, you know? So I want you to feel me in a good way, like respect me, support me. Uh, you have some questions you wanna know about something, man, ask me, I'll always be here. But every time I see you, you're always like bashing me. You're always like, like into the negative side, you know? I wanted to block you, but I, you know, sometimes I give people time, maybe they change. But every day I see you always, you always, you always. So man, yeah. Imagine out of 100,000, nearly 100,000 subscribers, I can notice your comments like every time. So it's bad, man. Yeah. No, I just give him a chance. So if you keep, you keep pushing me, Trust me, I will, I, will, I will block you, man. Trust me, man. Okay, so sorry about that. That's really emotional. You know, I really try, man. I should tell you, man. I'm, I'm from Africa. Sometimes I apply for visas and they, people deny me just because, you know, of racial factors or just because this guy is from Africa or a lot of, you know, a lot of those things. Sometimes I have my own struggles, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a human being, you know, you know. I have my own struggles. Sometimes, you know, I push so hard. I'm in the streets filming, dangerous streets, you know. And uh, you put the videos out. Somebody's always, man, always hitting you with the negative, like, oh, you are afraid to do this, you this, this. There's not, nothing positive they can give you, man, you know. So it's, it kills your morale and you'll be like, man, I have 100,000 followers. And this, this one guy, all he's my subscriber. Yes, I appreciate that, but, you know. Yeah, that's why we watch. We know you struggle. You struggle. Sorry. Yeah, man, it's risky, man. You know, risky, very risky, very risky. Yeah, very risky. Yeah, you know. But sometimes people think. Yeah, I, I saw some comment today. Somebody saying I'm looking for YouTube fame. Actually, if I was looking for fame, maybe this channel would be like this. Actually, this is purely passion. This is purely passion, pure dedication, and pure hard work, you know? And uh, maybe I always feel like I have something maybe in me, something, something different maybe, I don't know. I always feel like that. For example, you can put me in maybe Japan today, and in two days, I will be having a beautiful girl next to me. I always feel that in me. So I tend to share that. And also I try to encourage a lot of people, you know, a lot of black people don't travel, especially people from Africa, they don't travel. And also the world uh, knows us from the other side, like maybe poor, disease, uh, you know, all those bad things. So I, tr I try to tell people, man, you can do it. And I'm not a rich kid, you know, I, I, I was not born in a rich family, man. I wore shoes when I was 12, you know, I was 12 years. My first time I took a flight, I was 25 years, you know? And since my first flight, I've been able to take countless flights. So for me, it's like, uh, you know, it's a motivation. Even myself, when I look at myself, I see like, 
everything is possible you know everything is possible in life you know you can you can you can pull you can pull from anywhere man like yeah so some people i don't know some people just uh, you from a tribe it's big it's a big struggle yeah man really really it's a big struggle man you know so my job is just to inspire you man my job is to tell you you can do it you see i come to panama in two days i talk to beautiful girls in the mall we, we take some selfies for instagram i go to colombia i do the same thing i go to you know my job is just to tell you man you can do it like believe in yourself you see that's on my instagram uh, sorry um that's on my Instagram, you know. Marianela. So we're gonna be putting their links here. You can follow them when you come to Panama. You can say hello to them, you know. Oh, I forgot the the other one. Oh Thomas, man, I've seen. So guys, that's my Instagram. That's my Instagram. That's my Instagram. She is married to an older man. You should understand, man. Most of these girls, they are struggling. Most of these girls are struggling. And uh, Thomas, I've seen, I've seen your message, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Actually, if there's somebody out there who can donate directly here, her sister is hot. Okay, I, I see you guys went deep. Yeah, you know, one thing you should know is uh, most of these girls are struggling. They are beautiful girls. But man, the economy is really, really bad. Let me put this thing on. Um, yeah. So, you know, you should, you should understand this about Latin America. Latin America is a, uh, girls are really, really beautiful here. How many times are you going to ask? Girls here are really, really beautiful here. The girls are really, really, really beautiful here. But one thing you should know is the economy, the economy here is really bad. So. You might find a very, a very cute girl. You'll find a very, very, very cute girl, but she's working maybe in a shop or she's earning like maybe a hundred dollars a month. So, and uh, sometimes they are compromised. They are compromised maybe to have babies with some other guys for those guys to help them economically. So that's Latin America, man. And actually not Latin America, even in Africa, I see that. So yeah, that's the only problem here in Latin America. Like, the women, the women here, maybe you may find they didn't go to school that well. So, you know, life is just hard. So you meet a girl like she's maybe 22 years and she has kids. And that's one of the main problems here is that uh, most of the girls you meet here, they either have one kid or two, one or two, most. Let's say 50%, 50%, especially if you go to Colombia, Venezuela, uh, one thing I love about Mexico, yeah, let's talk about Mexico a little bit. I know this video is about how me, I meet girls and Mexico and stuff. Not Mexico and Panama, but let's talk about Mexico. One thing I loved about Mexico is uh, the girls there, they're not that beautiful, yeah, as compared to this other Latin, Latin American country, but they really work so hard. They work so hard. They, they have their own, you know, they have their own... They have their own jobs or maybe own businesses. That's one thing I loved about Mexico more. And I, I see like Mexican girls, for example, they are tougher, you know, they, they're those girls, let's say, for example, you and a, a Mexican girl have a kid and for no reason, maybe you are not around. She can manage to pull over. She can manage to pull the kid over, you know? It seems all they do is work, is work though. Uh, Mexico City has pretty girls, but it's risky there. Yeah, I was in Mexico. Actually, I'm, the party of 100,000 subscribers will be in Mexico. I've been inviting people to come. I'm trying to invite uh, girls from all over the world, man, maybe from, I don't know, from Korea, South Korea. I'm inviting like everywhere, you know? So maybe our, our party will be there. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Have you ever smacked? an Arabic chick. <laughs> so that's so private, man. Those type of questions you ask me on my Instagram, you know, I can just be here telling you what I did, what I did, you know? So one thing I should tell you about dating in Latin America is number one, number one, number one, it's very important you learn at least some Spanish. Actually, when you learn some Spanish, you win the game. 
And one thing I should tell you is there's no racism here, especially if you want to talk to a beautiful girl. Okay, you know, sometimes, let's say, let's say you are an Arab, Arabic guy or you maybe, let's say a black guy or, uh, or a white guy, and you go, to, you go talking to this girl and she doesn't want to talk to you. Sometimes it's not about your race. You know, sometimes it's about preference. Some other people prefer some certain type of maybe physicality, me guy who who's very masculine or tall or something like that so it's not sometimes about like oh maybe it's because i'm black she doesn't want to talk to me no it's not about that actually i've been around latin america like cuba dominican republic mexico colombia panama you know i can tell you one thing man it's about your vibe the moment you, you speak very well you're so good man man i can see 126 people watching and you only have 39 likes, man. Can I can we get 100 likes for no reason, you know? Yeah, just smash that like button, man. Just smash that like button to support. And can I get anybody even donate, even if it's $5, man? That would be supporting me. I'm going to Costa Rica on Wednesday. Oh, Brand Bitcoin just says, yo, what's good, bro? How is it going? I am jet lagging. Been flying all day. Oh, man, where are you right now? Where are you, Brand, man? Yeah, thank you so much, bro, for for your support always man you show up here you never let me down yeah thank you thank you so much brian tell us where you are yeah we are with brian in, in in colombia oh passport action says do you prefer latin american women over ethiopian i'll say like this man you know ethiopian it's because it's africa you know it's because it's africa okay so you may you may say maybe she may understand my struggles more but honestly as my me, me as a person, me, I prefer Latin America. One thing I prefer about Latin America is actually the diversity of the culture and uh, the beauty. You know, you'll find like, if you want a black girl, you want a mixed girl, you want pure white, blonde, you know, it's, it's offering you everything you want. But in Ethiopia, you will find just a category of, you know, how they look like, they look more dark Arabs, you know, like they have the Arabic hair and, let me show you, you know, yeah, I did videos in Ethiopia, so yeah, that's one thing I say, but uh, you know, sometimes marrying from your roots can be a very good thing because people can tend to accept you the way you are and try to understand you more, maybe. Let's say you're an African and you're marrying from Africa. The girls will tend to understand you more than sometimes a very diverse culture, you know? And the problem with this diverse culture is you really have to take time to understand each other because if you are not doing that, it's gonna be very, very hard. Yeah, they look like Elslas. Oh man, let's let's not put the. You know, sometimes some people adore some figures in their countries, and I'm look, looking for an Ethiopian girl here. Yeah, I prefer Latin America because you can find anything. You know, like any any choice of uh, preference you like, you can find Ethiopia. Yeah, but Ethiopia was good. Yeah, Ethiopia was good. That's me in Ethiopia. That's me in Ethiopia. Yeah, they were really cute girls too. They are really cute. Yeah. That was the cousin. That was in Ethiopia. And we are eating something they call injera. Injera. Yeah. But uh, one thing I'll say is it, at, the end, at the end of the day, it depends what you're looking for. You know, some other guys uh, or other people tend to go for like education level. Other people tend to date, maybe they prefer some type of colors, maybe people like dark skinned women or others just like girls with big, you know? So it's, it's, it's all about your preference or other people like skinny or slim girls for that reason. Yeah, Addis Ababa. So, so guys, yeah, that is it, man. Let's get those likes coming in. Uh, Send some donation, help Maro, he's spending a lot. Yeah, man, actually, it's funny also, if you can support me on my PayPal, it's gonna be a very good thing, actually, because I have a problem right now with my bank. My bank is giving me a lot of problem. And uh, next week, I'm going to Costa Rica, man. I'm so excited. Let me, I'm, I'm putting my PayPal here. If you can support me on my PayPal also, I'll be very, 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 very grateful, guys. Yeah, so I already told you the tips of talking to any girl anywhere in the world is number one, always try to know their language. Number two, always smile, smile all the time. 
I don't mean like you'll be like uh, you'll be like how do you how do you say a clown like smiling like oh, all the time. No, all I mean is you know if you're talking to a girl, always show show like. You know, you are a happy guy. You know, nobody wants your problems. Nobody wants your bad side of life. People want the good side of life. People want, you know, people people want that good vibe. You know, would you say would you say women in Colombia favor long term relationship that lead to marriage and children, or simply dating short term uh, and on to the next one? So cities like Medellin, Medellin, Colombia is not my favorite city to date because. Right there, it's very contaminated because why? Most of the time is uh, guys go there just to, you know, I won't say that. So because of that, women don't see you for a long term thing. So women see you like, oh, it's just another tourist coming here who just want to have fun, you know? So I would recommend you to go to the small cities and when are you going to introduce me to one of those sexy women? I am rich. Okay, okay. <laughs> so sometimes it's not good for you to go to those areas where it's very touristic for it's very touristic for you to go and look for a girl. Because you'll find a girl who had another tourist two days ago. And after that tourist, they, she had another guy. So it's not a good, good, oh not anxious says Pura Vida Costa Rica, go to Del Rey Hotel in San Juan. Actually, that Del Rey Hotel, I've been hearing it for like four years, man. When I was in Colombia, I used to hear people talk about it. Man, thank you for the donations, man. You guys keep me say, Maro, can you show us some Tinder profile from Panama? Keep it up, bro. Okay, Tinder will be coming up. I just did the Tinder right now. I just did the Tinder. So, but I'll tell you this one thing about, about Tinder in Panama. The girls you see here in on Tinder, oh, this one has a family, so I can't show. The, most of the girls you see here at Tinder in Panama, most of the cute girls, they are from Colombia and Venezuela. And it's funny because when I was here find, checking about Tinder, let me give shout outs first to these guys who are supporting me like crazy, man. Thank you, thank you so much, Thomas. Oh, actually, Thomas, you, think you should link up with me in Costa Rica. I'll be there the evening of 23rd of July. I don't know if I'll still be in Costa Rica. Let me hope so. Let me hope so, man. I hope I hope I can I can I can stay longer to meet you because my plan was to go there at most two weeks, then from there go to another country. Because in September, uh, I'm supposed to be in Mexico City preparing for our party. So I'll be inviting you to Mexico City end of September. Maybe the the maybe we shall have our 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 party November. You know, sorry. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Hey, Michael says Tinder profiles from Panama. I will say like this, they are not as good as uh, Colombians. We can't compare the Tinder profiles in Colombia as to the Panam to the one I see here in Panama. So these are the Tinder profile I'm seeing here. See, I'm trying to see. She doesn't have extra photos. So let's do another one. That's another Tinder, Tinder. Oh, I think. Uh huh. Sorry, sorry. I don't know if she has more photos. Her yeah, photos are really dark. No. She only has two photos. I would say like Tinder here is really 50 50, you know. This, she looks nice, but uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. So, you know, in, in for example, Colombia, you'll find a girl like this, like in. Every 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 Tinder I like, she looks like this. But here it's just that one you see, you'll be like, oh, she looks beautiful, you know. So it's not it's it's not it's not something close to Colombia, man. I'm telling you honestly. Yeah. And also Panama is a small area, so the population. And you see, it's not even people just put one photo. Yeah. So that is the Tinder, Tinder, that's the Tinder type here. Thank you for all those guys who are donating, man, to support me. Thank you, thank you, guys. We, you've been here for me for a long time. I really appreciate, guys, like a lot, a lot. Yeah, I really appreciate. So these are the Tinders in in, uh, in Panama, yeah. But one thing I love about Panama is uh, you don't see much uh, selling, you know, much business in quotes. 
as those other countries like Colombia. Because let's say, for example, you land yourself in Cartagena, every girl you match or you match with in Tinder, she'll be asking you for money, you know, and that's not a good thing. One thing I love about Panama is Panama women are the same as the US for you who are planning to visit on visiting. I'll say something like that. I'll say, let's say only the difference could be like maybe out of 10, I'll say, I'll give a Panamarian like maybe 6.5. Yeah, they tend to be more American. And you know, here also it's the dollar. So anywhere the dollar is influencing, you know what to expect. Yeah. And also here is not, it's actually Panama is more closed. It's, it's a place where, let's say you want to talk to somebody, they may take some time before they decide to open up for you to talk to them, you know? It's not a place like maybe Colombia where you walk and say, hello, and every girl is like, hello, what's your name, what's you? It's not like that. Here you say hello, and they be like, hello, you know? So it's, it's more of a close society in a way. I, I feel that. And you know, like in Panama City, we have a lot and a lot of foreigners, maybe investors and stuff, so most of the time is it's not a good place to date. Yeah, I'm just being honest. Las Vegas is jumping, so is Miami. Okay. So guys, thank you so much for those guys who are donating men to support the channel. I really, really appreciate Habari Asubui, Nzuri Sana, that is Swahili. And actually, guys, if you can support anything to this YouTube channel, $5, $10, $100, 50 any man, I really, really appreciate I really, really appreciate. Okay, so let's talk about Panama. So far, my feeling about Panama. So I'll say like this, man, if you're coming to Panama, let's say it's just a good way to escape the American routine or your country routine. One thing you should know about Panama is it's ex expensive. You know, people will say, no, Panama is not expensive. Maybe it's you who is staying in an expensive place or it's you who is living in an expensive place. Now, let's say this, man, you know, any country that uses dollars, at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's expensive. You know, everything you're paying in dollars, any country that uses dollars, at the end of the day, is expensive. Especially if you're not making those dollars, you're making maybe pesos, maybe in Mexico or in, Pan in, in Colombia, you're making pesos or like from Kenya, you're making shillings. So it's going to be difficult because Panama is quite expensive. Honestly, it's expensive. I can't lie about that. I know there is ways you can survive in Panama, maybe $20 a day. There, is way, there are ways you can survive with that, especially, but you have to go and eat in those areas like foreigners don't go, those risky areas. And now you put yourself in jeopardy, maybe you're you know, losing your items or, yeah. But if you wanna stay in nice places in Panama, it's gonna be very costly, man. And I have a hundred likes for the video before we continue. Let's get those likes, man, coming, yeah. And I promise this, I think from next month or maybe when we get 100,000 subscribers, we shall be doing something we call podcasts, podcasts, Google Hangouts, you know, where we have somebody maybe from the US who has been to a place, shares the experiences. I want to do that. Actually, I'll be from, I think the next live stream, I'll do that. Yeah. Mara, you come across as a bad, you, you come across as a bad boy. Women love bad boys because they risk they're risk takers and predictable and confident. And honestly, I'll say like this, I have some crazy character in me. You know, sometimes people say, oh, Mara, you get, you get beautiful girls because you are a YouTuber or you're famous. It's not about that, man, trust me. And most of the time, one, let's say 97% when I approach women, I never tell them I'm a YouTuber or something like that. Because, you know, even before you, they let you say that you have first to break the ice in a good way, you know, you have to have that skill. But one thing I should say is I'm more of a, a joker. I'm that guy who like really does not really take things too serious, you know? I, I am more of a chill, relaxed guy. And I tend to look for like extras, extraordinary things from maybe a girl, maybe let's say a girl who will fascinate me with high intelligence or maybe, oh, she paid, she paid my lunch, you know? I know I can pay for her lunch in maybe our entire dating season, but I want a girl who can challenge me, who can say, oh, I paid your lunch today. Oh, you know, I did this. Oh, I paid this flight. I did, you know, I, so that's like what fascinates me. And yeah. 
Oh, Thomas, thank you, thank you so much, uh, man. Yeah, I, I see you hit me up. Yeah. Thank you so much, bro. I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll write you. You can follow me on Instagram and tell me I'm Thomas because I know maybe after this live stream I'll forget or maybe I can't trace this, uh, uh, this, this comment. Let me see. Brandon says, yeah, I used to love Panama. Still do, but it... It, it got expensive with the great, uh, with the Colombian pesos to a dollar of 3,000, 3, yeah, or oh, 320,000 pesos for $100 is great. It used to be the opposite. Panama was cheaper back in 2016 than Colombia. Yeah, now Panama is very expensive. So Panama is becoming very expensive. And, uh, if you are not making dollars, it's hard to survive here, you know. Even like partying, you know, I, I hope you guys saw my videos about the nightlife. I asked this guy who works there in the club, like, how much do you think me with my girlfriend, we can party for a night? And he said $100. You know, $100 in Colombia, those are three nightlife. From partying from Thursday to, to Sunday morning. Like, I mean... Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, $100. You can do that in Colombia. I, I, I tell you, you can do that. Actually, 60,000 Colombian pesos for a night, you can do that. That's around 20, 20, $25, 25 bucks. And that is actually, you can buy your, your boys, that, that container that comes with a lot of beers, you know? Yeah. So, passport. Um, Okay, okay, so let me see. Visiting multiple cities in Colombia, what should one look, look forward to doing to socialize and network property? A network pro, properly, properly. Okay, so if you're visiting multiple cities, you should understand like very, every, every different, every city in Colombia is different on its own way, either through the climate, how the people, uh, talk to you. So let's say, for example, Cartagena. Cartagena, it's it's more of let's dance, let's go to this party, let's do this, you know. Medellin is also another wild sea. Medellin is more wild, like, hey, let's have fun. Let's, it's like, you know, I've never been to Miami, but I think it should be like Miami. You know, it's like Las Vegas. For I don't know if Las Vegas we can compare to Medellin. Medellin is just that place where you go to have fun and you meet people who are ready to talk to you and they are ready to try things with you. That's made in Colombia. But uh, let's say cities like Bogota. Bogota, people are very cold. People are very cold there. You say hello and they say, hello, how are you? But one thing I love about Bogota is, for example, if you're looking for a relationship, it's a promising city. If you get a girl from Bogota, man, you can marry that girl. But Medellin, Colombia, the moment you leave, it's like business closed. So that is it. Today is my birthday, Marwa. Can I get a birthday shout out? Oh man, yeah, I didn't know. Sorry, man. Yeah, so let's 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 give a shout out to our brother here, AU. Yeah, he's, it's his birthday today, man. Happy birthday to you, bro, man. Yeah, more years to come, more travels, more blessings from God, man. Yeah, I hope this new year for you will be a big, big, you know, a big win for you, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Happy birthday to you. Let me actually type for you that. Happy, happy birthday, man. That's so special. Yeah, it's very special, man. Happy birthday. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Happy birthday to you, man. Oh, I don't know. I was writing your name, but it, it didn't. It didn't pick it. Hey, you, yeah. Thank you, thank you, bro. Uh, Brennan says, "Yeah, my good buddy lives in uh, in Villa de Cauca, Colombia. Uh -huh. There are a small club bottle service for fifty thousand pesos." And 50,000 pesos, you take a girl upstairs. There are lots of Colombian than Medellin. Yeah, Colombia is really cheap, man. You should go to Colombia. Actually, if you are coming, if you are coming to Latin, 
But you know, sometimes people travel for different reasons. Maybe sometimes you want to explore fast. You want to know how this place is, how this country is. I want to send you money. Yeah, man, you can do it through my PayPal. It's right here to a to a one. You can send me something, man. I would love. I would really appreciate it because I'm going to Costa Rica, and I'm told Costa Rica is more expensive than Panama. That's actually uh, people who live in Panama have told me that, like Costa Rica is more expensive than Panama. I'm going there to see to see it. You know, I'm going to see Costa Rica. So I really appreciate for those guys who are supporting me. You can donate directly to the channel right here, or oh, this is my PayPal. Sorry, guys. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. So if you're going, if you're traveling to these new countries, always, always remember to speak their language. Speaking their language gives you a big advantage because sometimes you don't lose, you don't lose. That's my paper right there if you want to support me. Yeah, Costa Rica is more. Yeah, people told me Costa Rica is more expensive than, than Panama. So, man, those donations you're sending me will be very vital for Costa Rica. I tend to be, maybe I'll wait for Thomas up to the 21st of this month. Then from there, maybe I may fly to, to Jamaica. I may go to Jamaica. But if I get visas for Honduras, I can keep going like that till I, I reach Mexico, you know? Yeah. Sean Martin says, are there hookers in Panama? Okay, man, I don't wanna promote that, but I'll say like this. Uh, I don't wanna promote that, but I'll say like this. When I was in, I was swiping Tinder, I met some two girls here and they were asking me for money. Yeah, and the funny thing is they were from Colombia. No, one was from Colombia, one from Venezuela. So yeah, so that's how crazy it is here. But uh, you know, every place you can find those things, every place, yeah. Every place you can find, you can find, you can find those type of things you're looking for. I watched your street videos, Mara. You need to clean the setting of your Osmo pockets to improve the quality. What happened, man? Was the video? No, actually, sometimes you have to go to the YouTube setting and click HD. If you don't put the HD, you can't see the quality. I always film at uh, 1080 HD. All of my videos are HD. So always go to, when you're watching YouTube, you click and you say 1080 so it can do that. Man, uh, my man, respect. Thank you, Rodriguez, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, man, to be very honest, it takes courage to be Ayamaro. It takes courage. It really takes courage, man, to be who I am. It takes courage to go to a country you don't know anybody. It takes courage to just arrive and start making videos and up unboxing a country, carrying big cameras at night. It takes courage, man. It takes courage. I'm coming from the UK to Mexico. Can I meet you? Yeah, I'll be in Mexico. Uh, and last week of September to maybe mid-October. Yeah. Then from there, I'll fly to the US. Then from the US, I'll fly to... Southeast Asia, Philippines will be my first country. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm seeing your comments coming in. Yeah. I wanna say. I wanna say like this. Uh, Panama is very nice. It's a nice place to visit, but it's not. It's a nice place also to find work. Let's say you're looking for a job. You don't have a job. Panama can be a very very good spot for you to get a job because they pay in dollars and uh, the economy is good. And you should know this, in Latin America, we were doing this research with my, my host here, in Latin America, not even Latin America, in all Latin countries, I mean those countries that speak Spanish, Panama has the highest paying rates. How do the paying rates, they call it, um, you know, the minimum wage, minimum wage, Panama has the highest, is at $700. Even it's bigger, is bigger than Mexico, Chile, all those other countries you can imagine. Of. It's bigger, bigger. Panama is the best, is the best Latin American country with the highest, you know, pay in terms of the minimum, okay? Minimum, not highest. I mean the minimum pay rate. Yeah, at 700. 
So you can imagine that's a big country. AABBB says, hey, Mara, you know how US girls are. So how much different do you think my experience with getting girls in Colombia as, as a good looking Asian guy versus US girls? One thing you should know is at least speak some Spanish because sometimes I don't, I don't want to create a scenario where people think when you arrive in Colombia like this, you'll be finding girls like left, right, and center. No. Number one is it's going to be very easy. I can, I can promise you that. It's going to be very easy. And because in countries like Colombia, a beautiful girl is an average girl. You know what that means? Yeah. You know that girl you see like, wow, she's so beautiful. In Colombia, she's very average. So it's a plus for you because if that girl you find her in a different environment, you can't even talk to her because she, she thinks maybe she's right there. But one thing you should know is always practice your Spanish. Actually, your Spanish will be 50% of your wins, okay? And another thing is just be ready to speak to strangers. You know, the American culture is more very close. People don't speak to each other. When people approach each other, they're like, hey, why are you, what are you, what's your problem? Why are you, you know, it's more of why, 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 why? So when you go to Latin America, you have to be very open. Be ready to be to be even asked by, hey, what's your name, by a stranger, and still feel comfortable, you know? Yeah, so that's how I met my wife. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that is AU says. Really just says, I'm hitting Asia in a few months, so probably not until after December, my guy. Okay, I'll be in Asia from October, maybe mid-October. I'll be going, I'll be going to Philippines for a month, Indonesia, another month, Singapore, then keep moving like that. Then from Asia, I'm thinking of going to India. I'm thinking of going to India. Then from India, I may, I may fly to Africa. Yeah, that should be next year, you know? Yeah, that should be next year. So I was there in May. Okay, that's really Joe. Kari King says, what's, what's my name? Yeah, Kari King, okay. So yeah, Philippines is on the way, come to Pakistan. I may come to Pakistan because it's close to India. So, you know, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, so, so guys, if you can donate anything to my YouTube channel, please uh, donate. You are, I don't know what to say. Uh, if you can donate anything here, please donate, man. Smash that like button, man. It's, it's really sad when I give people free information like this and you can't even smash a like button, man, just to support, man. It's free, man. You know, I always ask you for not just me, but all YouTubers for the likes because those likes help 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 YouTube think like the video is good. So it recommends it to other new people. And by that, then the channel grows. That's why you always ask for likes, but likes does not mean or does not translate to money or to anything. Likes just, it's a signal to YouTube like, hey, this video is good. Yeah, smash that like button, man. I don't have to remind you about that. So, Passport Action says, I am Mara. A lot of time we can't like right away because we are on the phone. Okay, okay, man. Yeah, algorithm all, yeah, play the same game. Yeah, just, just, we have 11 people, all 11 people, just 11 people, man. Smash that like button to 100. And we shall be there, man, it's 11 people. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, man, please remember to subscribe, at least be among the 100,000 100, uh, 100, subscribers to this YouTube channel. His name is Don Rain says, you are hero, Bob Colimo, the richest man in Kenya, pastor on July 5. Yeah, man, I was so sad. Actually, if you see my Instagram, I wrote something related to that. I said, you know what, sometimes in life, we always think like maybe money or cars or big houses are like everything we need in life. Actually, we don't need those things. The richest man in my country just died a few days ago, man. He left everything like Lamborghini, not Lamborghinis, but cars like Ferrari, you know, he could afford, man. But he died out of cancer. So, and since that time, um, I've, been, I've been always been like, you know, life is just a joke. Life is a joke. So enjoy life responsible in a good way, but you have to enjoy it in a, you have to enjoy life. You know, you don't have to keep like struggling, looking for this money, you know, every day clocking in, clocking out of your job. 
Take a vacation, man. Go to a country, sleep in an ocean, fill the air, eat some, you know, different food, talk to different people, you know. Have, you know, you know what travels brings you around? Yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah, actually money is not important in life. Money only facilitates life, you know. It's fallis- Let's say you want to go to Egypt to see the pyramids because you have money, you can. The most important thing in life is your freedom, you know, your freedom. Freedom to say, today I want to sleep, and you sleep. Freedom to say, today I want to go to Costa Rica, and you go. That is the most important thing. But, you know, money, because we work for money, so money restricts us. So money can't give you that freedom. So, like, you need to be somewhere else doing some job for you to get money. So, you know, yeah. And I always encourage you guys, always try to find ways you can make money online through the internet. There are many ways you can... Learn some skill, learn, learn even how to edit videos, learn how to make YouTube videos, learn how to make applications, you know, learn how to, you see those people who make applications, for example, Uber, that guy is a billionaire. Right now, maybe he's somewhere in Bahamas. He does not need to work anymore. So find a skill, find, make websites. You know, I've met a lot of beautiful girls in, in, in Mexico, girls from Canada, Norway, They've been traveling like for years and years. And if I ask them, hey, how do you afford to travel for a whole year? And they'll know I work online, I make I, I create websites, I design something, and I get paid. And man, that's the new way. That's the new way, you know. That's the new way. That's the new way. Find something you can do online, and through this, you can keep a lifestyle, you know. Somebody says, Marwa, do parents of Colombian girls require dowry before marrying her? No, no, no. That's one thing, that's the biggest advantage in Colombia. Like, in Africa, for example, if I want to marry a girl, I have to pay them a lot of cows, maybe even 15 or depending on the education of the girl. If the girl is more educated, I have to pay more. And that's in Africa. Like, for example, my mom, when my dad was marrying my mom, my dad had to pay, I think, 50, 50 cows, you can imagine. 50, and that's a lot of money, man. If you convert money to, or cows to money, that's a lot of money. But in Colombia, it's free, man. All you have to do is just, if the girl says yes, yeah, the, par- the, the parents actually, there's no dowry in Colombia. There's no dowry. There's nothing like paying for dowry in Colombia. So imagine you marrying the beautiful girl of your dream and also no paying dowry. Oh, JP, man, donated $5. Man, if you're out there, you can donate to this YouTube channel. It's going to be the best thing, man. Let me read what JP says. What percentage of women you meet are single mothers besides scammers? What are the issues you face dating Colombian and Latin women? Thank you, man. I'll be ans- Let me answer you that. I'll say like this. Uh, most of the time, you can... Okay. My first year in Colombia, my first year in Colombia, you know, I didn't know anything about dating in Colombia. I had, I, I had no, you know, I had no idea about anything about Colombia. So my first year in Colombia, I used to, I used to meet people maybe in a shopping mall, Tinder, and maybe in a bus. Actually, I'm that random guy who meets people anywhere, you know. I don't have like a specific place I have to meet people. I'll say like this. If the girl is over 25 years old, if she's over 25 years old, chances are she has one baby, she has one kid. If she is, and she's not in school, you know, she's not like, not like studying. She doesn't, she's not in school and she's above 25 years of, of age. Most of the time she has at least one kid. Because the funny thing about, for example, in Colombia is the culture is pretty, pretty open. People are so open to each other. People kiss in public. People hold hands in public. I mean intensely, you know, intense. Like people kiss intensely in a bus. Let's say you sit in a bus like this. People could be kissing right here, right here. And there's nothing you can do. So you see, that type of culture is very open. It's very open where relationships is something like a show and because of that, a lot of young girls, let's say around from 14, I've seen girls from 14. It's crazy, man. That's actually, you go and do some statistics. From 14 to maybe like 24, most of the girls have kids. 
Yeah. I know 14 is really wrong, a, a young age. Let me not talk about it. Let's say from 18, let's talk from the legal age. But uh, I should tell you this, you, you, you'll go to Colombia and meet a girl who is 15 years or 16 and she has a kid. And you'll be like, what? And it's not a big surprise because the culture, the culture is so, so open, super, super open. So my struggles, the issues I've had, hey, your message just disappeared, it's right here. The issues I've had, besides scammers, what are the issues you've had facing dating in Colombia and Latin American women? Number one is this, this girl I, I met one time, my first year in Colombia. She was really into me, we were going out, we were partying and everything. And all of a sudden, she introduced me to her extended family, her mom and her aunts. And then the following day, she never texted me up to today. So I realized maybe the family told her, hey, leave that black guy alone. I think so. That's what I think. Because I, I don't know what really happened. When she was into me, we were going out, we were dancing, we were going. Like, until she was at that point of introducing me to her family. Then when she, she introduced me, all of a sudden, it just disappeared. That's one. Number two is most of the girls tend to be like asking you for money so, so, so much until you'll be like, damn. Let's say, for example, you invite a girl to for lunch and she'll say, I don't have money. So imagine you'll be like, how do you even go to your work? And maybe she's working. And so that's the problem I've been seeing. And that's maybe could be one of the main problems. The main problem is when you're a foreigner, girls tend to see you, especially like Latin American girls I've seen, they tend to see you as this cash machine. So any, anything you're trying to do, she's trying to, to say, pay, pay. Okay, you wanna see me? Okay, pay, I wanna come see. You wanna do this? Okay, pay, I wanna. So that's one thing I really don't like. I'm not trying to say I'm stingy. I'm not saying, no, you know, sometimes you wanna somebody who is really, really, really dependent on you. You want somebody who can pay today and maybe tomorrow you pay, another day you can pay, another day you can pay, another day she pays, you know? At least like a whole coaster, you know, like something, not purely, you know, if I don't have money, she can't show up. So that's one thing. That's another thing. Uh, another thing about Latin, Latin is maybe they're very emotional. Yeah, that's another thing and very jealous. Maybe jealous is maybe a human thing. It should not be more, but I think they are more obsessive, yeah. That's my own, my own experience. For example, when I was in Mexico, I was dating this girl. She was my girlfriend like for three months. Man, she was so obsessive. Like I can't do anything. She would check my phone, she would do this. If I take a selfie with another girl, maybe even just in the street, she would be so mad. And they are very emotional. Emotional meaning she doesn't care even if your mom is here, she will start crying. She, you know, she can't control herself like, Hey, we shall talk this later. She can. If she busts into tears, she busts into tears. Yeah, man. Thank you for the likes. Thank you, man. If you're watching and no like, man, please like the video. Thank you so much. We're already at one hour. Yeah, this is amazing, guys. And I have to say, lol, women jealous whenever you go. Yeah, but in Latin America, it could be at, at extremely high. Yeah, you know, sometimes you might think it's a joke. Uh, I had a girl I took a picture with. Oh, Kevin, man, thank you so much for, for donating $10, man. I really, 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 really appreciate it, man. I'm going to Costa Rica. Your donations will be a big boost. It will be a big, big boost to me. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, man, thank you. I was saying this. I had, I had a girlfriend in uh, Mexico. Let me see if uh, I can show you. Yeah, no. So I had another girl I took pictures with her. And this girl, she, she, we took a picture together. She took my picture and her, and she posted on her, on her Instagram. My girlfriend, my then girlfriend went to her Instagram saying, oh, leave my boyfriend alone. She, he's my man, he's this, this, he's this. And you know, we were just friends and it was just a random photo. So you can imagine what that means. They are really, really obsessive, yeah. And they get really mad. They can't even, they can't beat you, but they really get so emotional. Yeah, that's one thing I should say. Some case says, why do you guys donate to him to have fun and doesn't even work? 
So that's a mean guy, and maybe I could even block block this guy because this guy. Uh, maybe I don't know. Yeah, that's the guy who is who is so mean. You know, he's so mean to the channel. He's so mean. But you know, the more you grow, the more you get people of different calibers. So mean. Maro, aka Kenyan Prince, be careful in Costa Rica. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm just trying, you know, always I pray God and say, God, you know, bless my journey. Let me go, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for your support. And some, I always think maybe I should start like maybe a Latin American dating advice thing, you know. Let's say you have some questions. You really know, you really want to know some, some information in depth. I think I can start something like a a dating advice, not really like a dating coach, but advice, you know, for people going, yeah. I stand in Costa Rica. I'll, I'll be telling you soon, bro. I'll be telling you, I'll be telling you. Yeah, thank you so much, bro. I see you, Nasir. Thank you so much. I'll be telling you how Tinder is in Costa Rica. Yeah, I'll be telling you. Thank you. Thank you so much for those guys that are donating. Uh, I see AAB says, hey, Mara, you said learn spanish but why can't i just use voice language translator speak into yeah it's it's a it's a good it's a good thing the way you're saying also you leave your stream brally can't fix it my live stream is yeah maybe i move i move towards the lights i don't know man let me move towards the light no you know learning spanish is really a big step because sometimes imagine you don't have like internet so if you over rely on translate and stuff, just try to learn, man. Go on YouTube and learn basic Spanish, you know. It will be helping you, you know. Basic Spanish, you know. I don't know how Tinder is the US. In the US, no, it's, it's very crazy. Mara, do Colombians like black guys? Man, you've seen my videos in Colombia. You've seen my experience. Just put yourself in my shoes, you know. They really do, you know. But I have to say this. Sometimes they confuse you with a Colombian. So they may see you and they think, oh, there's another black Colombian from Choco or from Cartagena. But once you speak, they realize, oh, he's a foreigner. Then they get more attractive to you. But at the start, they may tend to be more of, you know, you know, the problems black people face all over the world, or, you know, at first. But once you introduce yourself and you show the smile, as I'm telling you, you speak some little Spanish, you're good to go, man. Trust me. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Actually, we've done one hour. Let's do uh, 13 more minutes, and that will be the end of the video. That's one hour, 20 minutes. Yeah, I, I think that will be very, very, very OK. And also, guys, man, if you can donate to my channel, I'm going to Costa Rica. Is giving me some fever already because it's super expensive, more than Panama. Peter, Peter Ngugi says, VP Marwa, Niko, India. Tutafutane, Ukikuja, India, bro. Oh, thank you so much, Peter. I didn't know, man, he's in India. So when I go to India, I'll look for you. Trust me, I will. Where is Afro Guajira? You know, right now, I'm in, I'm in, uh, I'm in a, a different country, and she's in Colombia. So I'm in Panama right now. Yeah. Hello, man from Argentina. You have the Instagram, the Panama girl. Can you answer in Spanish, please? Oh, okay, okay. Mira, mira. Eh, cual, cual amigo, cual amigo. Eh, that is uh, Le, Lelin, Lelin. Si, si, no, cual, 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 cual. Qual señorita? Sí, cuál. Cuál. En cuál video? En qué video? Sí. Uh, Manuel Joseph says, waiting for you in Cambodia. Oh, man, thank you so much. Yeah, I see a lot of people. Yeah, I think I can go to Cambodia with, I think, an e-visa. Or I can get visa on arrival. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be traveling. Donde estás, Marwa? Estoy en Panama ahora. Marwa, have you checked out Buenos Aires? I'll go to Buenos Aires when I go to States, because I want to apply my visas from there. Cuando vas a Peru, eh, tal vez, okay, espera, I, I, I wanna go to, I wanna go to Peru. 
Uh, you know, I want to go to many countries. <laughs> it's really confusing. I want to go to many, many countries. So the guy is uh, the blonde, the blonde girl. Yeah, she's from Venezuela. I don't have her Instagram. I have her, her, her WhatsApp. I didn't take her Instagram. I wish I did, but I didn't. I had her WhatsApp. T. Roy says, when the Africa tour is coming, my, my guy, he's from London. African tour should be maybe from February next year after I leave India. Yeah, my plan is I go to Southeast Asia, from Southeast Asia, go to India, from India, fly to Africa, because it's very close, you know. Actually, India, Africa is like three hours. Yeah, so, Mara, do you ever see yourself settling down? Yeah, man, actually, I see this channel one day, it will be more of a family. This is how I see myself. One day I'll get a girlfriend and... Uh, we do a beautiful wedding and we have, we settled, we travel fast with her. We travel in different countries here and there. Then we get, we settle down in one of Latin American country. Yeah. I, I, I think, and also I'll build a house in Africa so we can be going for safaris. We go see my family back in Africa. That's how I see this channel one day. One day, this channel will change from this to a family channel. It will be more family, oh, uh, Marwa's wife is pregnant, oh. <laughs> and also at that time, I'll be doing more of advice videos. You know, I think out of my travels, I'll have a lot of experience to just sit down and explain to you like, hey, if you wanna go to this country, this, 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 this yeah. Yeah, that's how I see myself, man. That's how I see myself, like one day, I will find this one beautiful girlfriend and we shall be traveling around the world first. Then we settle down, we have a family, keep traveling here and there, Africa, Europe, you know, something like that. Yeah. But actually, I, for me, I, I believe in at least having a family. You know, I believe in that. I strongly believe in that. I, I see like I have no reason to be alive if I can't have a family. I'm sorry, man, maybe that's extreme thoughts in my mind, but I think I don't value things like cars, Lamborghinis, I, I really, <laughs> they're good to have, but I really like, don't value them, man, you know? I value, I value passing on life and uh, leaving something behind, you know? Something like that, because right now I'm using Samsung, uh, the best Samsung, okay, this is Note 9. But maybe in, in two years, this will be the old Samsung, you know, it will be, oh, that's old, that's not. So I'm not fascinated with like cars, those things don't. For me, actually what I love most is uh, the freedom, is the freedom I have, is the freedom to be like, I wanna go to Costa Rica and I go. I wanna do this. So one thing I love, let's say about my life is I am able to make money without a boss. And uh, I'm able to have my own rules, and I'm, I'm, I'm able to have my freedom. Actually, freedom is number one. And you know, freedom comes with money. If you have money, then money plus freedom, you feel, wow, you feel like the world is yours, you know? But if you don't have money, then your freedom is taken. Let's say you want to build a house, you don't have money, so you need to work, and you spend maybe... 12 hours a day, already your freedom is being taken, you know, so, yeah. So, yeah, that is it, guys. Uh, track down, uh, you're getting soft, man, keep smashing, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, 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 you know, actually, I should tell you this. When I was in Colombia, I think I had more than I wanted until I felt like, no, 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 man, this is not healthy for me. So Panama for me is a moment for re relaxing, is a moment to chill, is a moment to be like, you know, I wanna, I wanna calm down Panama for me. I feel like Colombia was, I was like capsizing, actually I was drowning and the water was right here, you know? Yeah. So Panama for me is more of chill, chill, chill. And uh, sent some donation, he sent many blessings. Thank you so much. Yeah, guys, you can share share some love to my YouTube channel, you know. That is my PayPal right there, you know. Support your boy Amara, PayPal. PayPal. And also you can donate directly to this YouTube channel, man, to support Amara. 
We went to 100,000 subscribers, man. We are going to 100,000. The blonde girl has Facebook. No, she only has WhatsApp, bro. She only has WhatsApp. Yeah, we're going to 100,000 subscribers. And uh, look at this, man. I'm so excited. So that's how sometimes I see my Instagram. You see, not Instagram, my YouTube. It's not actually my, it's our YouTube channel. It has 732 comments. So sometimes I have to sit down and reply to all the, the comments. One million subscribers soon. And thank you so much. Man. You always support me. Thank you, man. So uh, I want to show you one thing I'm excited about is uh, we're going to, we're at 98,000. So tomorrow we're at 99,000, man. So if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, man, or please just share, just share, share this video, share, you know, just share this video, man, to support Ayamara, man. Let's go, let's go strong, man. Let's go, man. We're going to 100,000 subscribers. And we shall have a big party in Mexico. So September, guys, please prepare. Please prepare. But I'll announce the dates uh, when we cross the river. I still, I still, I'm still waiting for that 100,000 subscribers. Once we click 100,000 subscribers, we shall, we shall, we shall talk, we shall plan. Maybe we, we can rent a club, we can rent, I don't know, we can rent a hostel, we can rent a private place. I'm thinking of something good, you know. I want to meet my subscribers for the first time in real time. We take some selfies, make some YouTube videos together. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, guys. No, please, guys, you know, if you're my subscriber, let's, let's maintain peace. I'm seeing people, you know, each other fighting. No, man, come on, come on. Congrats for 100,000 subscribers. Check my page and peace, subscribe. I just uploaded some more Brazilian video. Okay, I'll check them, man. Passport action, yeah, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. It's coming. And uh, I, really, I really feel humble. I'm still the same guy, you know. You know, sometimes people say, oh, now you're becoming famous. <laughs> to become famous is an illusion, you know. It's an illusion. It's a state of mind. But I'll say, I'll say like this. Nowadays when I walk, honestly, like, I can't spend a week without meeting people on the road who know me. Let's say I walk out here. Actually, even like a few days ago, I met some guy here close to where I live. If you guy you are watching, the guy who met me in San Francisco. Also, we met some other guys down there when we were filming. Actually, I meet a lot of people nowadays. They tell me, I know you, I know you, I know you, I know you. But uh, yeah, I appreciate, man. Thank you for all those guys who have been here from the start to the end. Uh, we have three more minutes left, man. If you can hit that like button. Please share my videos as much as you can, man, to support Aya Marwa. I'm so grateful to have you as part of my, my family on YouTube. I'm so grateful, man. Thank you for all those guys who follow me on Instagram. You guys show me crazy love there. It's, yeah, I, lo I love Instagram, even if it's not my main account. But, you know, pe people like Instagram. So, yeah, go, go and show Ayamaro some love there on Instagram. The same name as this YouTube channel, I am underscore Maro. I'm seeing I'm receiving some messages from good there. Yeah. So, yeah, that is it, guys. Uh, we have two more minutes. Let me read you. Yeah, drone. Put drone images of different countries, cities on your T-shirts. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think that's really a very good idea. Yeah, yeah. And hi, Mara, where you buy all those cool T-shirts? In Africa, man. I bought, I bought them in Africa, Slay. I bought them in Africa. But uh, I'm actually I'm thinking like I, I'm thinking to be selling these things for you guys. These th things like these and t-shirts, like not t-shirt, like very colorful shirts, you know, very unique. Not just those normal shirts you find it in anywhere. So I'm thinking about that, you know. I'm thinking about that. So also I'll be selling these things. Let's say you're from Jamaica. I'll be writing your name and I'll be sending you this. This is Tanzania, but it looks like Jamaica, okay? So I love you guys. Thank you for being here every Sunday. Let's meet here again every Sunday at a time like this. But I think maybe this week I'll go, I'll, I'll go 
I'll go live because uh, of the 100,000 subscribers. I'll be saying thank you. So if you see me again in the middle of the week, man, just be like, Mara, welcome back. And I love you all, oh, man. Please share my videos. Don't uh, share, 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 man. Let's go to 1,000 subscribers strong, okay? Strong, 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 strong. I love you guys, and uh, I'll see you. I'll see you. Oh, somebody says, how about T-shirts? Say, hey, Mara. Because every everyone always says, hey, Mara, and asks questions. Yeah, or I always say, bro. When I answer questions, I always say, hey, hey, hey bro. Thank you, bro. I always use that, bro. So I think I'll use that. Maybe, hey, Mara, or hey, bro, something like that. Okay. Love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Please remember to like the video before you leave. And also jump to my Instagram there. Show me some love on my Instagram. That's man. Okay. I I hope I can see your message, man. I hope I can see. Hit me on my Instagram. I don't know if you have Instagram. Yeah. You know, sometimes, honestly, look. If I open my Instagram, uh, I have... Uh, I have, I, have, I, have, I have all these messages to reply back. All these, these are messages. Request, you see? I know you guys use Instagram. You see here they say, uh, the decline all, it means I've not opened them. So I'm supposed to open them and reply. So guys, I hope I reply. I hope I reply to you, bro. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Or if you want me to reply very quickly, comment on one of my, my Instagram and say this is Thomas, one of my Instagram photo, okay? I'll see it because it will come as a notification. I print t-shirts. Oh man, passport action. We can do some business, man. Yeah, we can do some business. Yes, let's discuss that very soon. Write me an email, man, the same, same as this. This is my email. Write me an email, give a proposal, tell me what I need to do. And that's my email. And guys, I'll see you in my next one. I love you guys. You know, I can talk up to tomorrow, but for now, bye bye. Bye bye. Take care, guys. Take care. Peace out. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Love you. Love you. Love you guys.